Shukriha. Indeed, it is a proud day. You're watching the 11 a.m. newscast with me, Akanksha Swaroop, and uh, staying with all the latest on the commissioning of INS Vikrant, which has made history in the country. And as our colleague uh, Arunima was just pointing out, it's not just a proud moment for the entire Indian Navy, but for the entire country today. Let's try and contextualize what this development means, not just for India, but in the entire world picture. For that, I'm joined in by our guests, uh, Major General Sanjay Soy, who's a retired defense expert. I'm also joined in by Major General uh, A.K. Sivach, who's also a defense expert. If I may begin with you, uh, Major General Sanjay Soy, um, I mean, I know that the Prime Minister today has, of course, highlighted the push for Atmanir Bharta and how INS Vikrant is about, is, is a symbol of India's Atmanir Bharta. Having said that, uh, there's also another crucial aspect to INS Vikrant in terms of how it is also a symbol of starting afresh, of how India is now all set to shed its colonial past. I'd like you to throw light on that aspect as well. Absolutely, Akanksha. Very, very important part, uh, question you have asked. In fact, uh, for any country to be strong and for any armed forces to feel strong, it is very, very important that we use the weapon systems made our made in our country. India was the second largest defense equipment importer. And the government has been focusing on the make in India. In fact, the policies of the procurement and making changed drastically in 2016. When uh, a private sector was involved, the IIT were involved. And large number of projects have taken place since then, whether it is Tejas or Netra, which is a, a, a system, a Astra, A to air missile, Akash, a fish to air missile, Arjun main battle tank. There's so many things. And now the Vikrant, making of Vikrant are function, not a simple thing. Aircraft carrier is a very, very complex system. Right. You can imagine if the 30 aircraft are parked and they are ready to take off and land, that will change like an airport. Complete airport system is there. It is length is more than 262 uh, meters and 62 meters wide. Imagine that you have to have the complete system, for one for the aircraft, uh, the complete uh, logistics, whether it is a, uh, a, a, they have in, installed the SBTO system breaking uh, so that they can stop in time, they can take off in, uh, in properly. And then you have to have an air defense system, then you have to have a, a communication system, then you have to say for such a huge aircraft, you need to have a good quality steel, which I'm told is made, made in India only by the Steel Authority of India. And then you got to have huge crew, almost 1600 crew is not a small number to accommodate them, to keep them. And for the offices at 2200 cabins, imagine it is a, like a small township, which is floating on the sea, and uh, with all the paraphernalia available to it, it has to be self-sustaining and then it does not move alone. Aircraft carrier means it has to have whole flotilla, anti submarine ships, right. frigate, destroyers, everything moves. Away. So it, it, it showcases the power. Now there's a second aircraft carrier which we have. It, is, it was very, very important for us because if the first aircraft carrier would go under maintenance, there was nothing left. It right. takes time to maintain it. So this is again with the conditions on our Chinese uh, South Asian, uh, uh, South China Sea area, uh, and India on the three sides is surrounded by sea. Very very important for us to be self-sufficient and especially project our naval power. Naval power is very very important so that it has a potential to project across the farther land. And this ship will take our flag to different countries different places, showcase our uh, importance, showcase our power, showcase our technological innovation. And now India has is all, already exporting and is focusing on making a global hub for making arms, technically very superior arms for the world. Absolutely. Akansha. If I could bring